Welcome back to the Welcome back. Welcome back to the Welcome back to the Boonips. The Boonips. The Boonips. The Boonips. Boo! DJ sucks. That was, okay, that was pretty mid. That was one of your. That was one of your. Uh, draw me at least one like Monkey little fat on bass hit. One little fat bass hit. <laughs> okay, this sucks. Welcome back yeah, to the Monkey, Goons Podcast. Monkey beat does not go hard. No, it's not the yeah, welcome. <laughs> Monkey step. <laughs> monkey step. Actually, isn't that a? Uh, it's definitely that actual monkey step. Song. I was gonna say, isn't that a song? I feel like Soup played it for us one time in a oh, like, yeah. C session, and he said he was gonna throw it on oh. next time we're all in an Uber together, which hasn't happened. Yeah, yeah. It will it happen. Yeah. It was. It was like a monkey rapping, wasn't it? It was like no. It was like, <laughs> over like it was in like beats. the beat. Yeah, it was yeah. in like the beat. It was, yeah, yeah it's like trap monkey. Monkeys in a trap. Trap monkey. Yeah. You know every you zoo. Know the vibes. Free the monkeys. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think you should free let monkeys. them loose they on can, the city. They can rip people in half. That's so have you guys heard sick. the? Uh, it is kind of sick. Have you guys heard the phone call though of the lady that's like yeah. getting her face torn off by a chimpanzee? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, the is that the potato face woman? Is that what she looked like? Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't heard the call, but I've seen the potato face. Yeah. So the first time uh, I heard the call was it's they use it in a Suicide Silence song. It's the intro to one of their songs. Oh my and I was, god! I didn't know what the fuck it was, and then I actually like looked into it, and it's like a chimpanzee ripping a woman's face off while she calls nine one one. It's kind of hell. Goes kind of crazy. Nah. Yeah, we'll but that's why we shit. don't. That's why we don't release all the the monkeys from the zoo. That's why I don't fuck with monkeys at all. That's the reason we don't release them. I mean, probably because Suicide what other Silence reason? gets material from it. <laughs> No, <laughs> we don't want them to continue making songs. Yeah, we, no, we we can't have that happen. Hell no, bro. No, nah, they're just scary, bro. They're so strong. Have you you've seen a bald chimpanzee? Yeah. They're pure muscle. They're like they, they look. They look like they're juicing. They're they're not yeah, even natural. Yeah, they athletes. actually like. Yeah, literally, they're not natty. They, no. They're built like fucking storm clouds, and they're Everything lean all year round. Bulbous. Nope. Not yep. real. No bulk. No Fake bulk natties. season for them. Nope. <laughs> No, it called is, out on Instagram. It is truly terrifying, though, that they could rip us in half if they wanted Long to ways. at any point. Long ways. They just are yeah. choosing not to all the time. Usually, yeah. Usually they're very, like, tame Most unless you piss one off. I think that's my beef with them, though, is they're, like, friendly and you're yeah. chill. Yeah. And you're, like, giving them some food, holding out your hand. <clears> and then, boom, something spooks them. He rips all your fingers off. They're gone. They Say bye-bye really, fingers. Yeah, they really have no in-between. It's either face rip-off moments or just, um, <laughs> just a cute little monkey moment. What was yeah. the reason? There was a reason that that monkey got set off to like. I'm pretty sure she was giving it like insane amounts of like Xanax or something. <laughs> oh my okay, God, well then she was asking for monkey? it. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, give this monkey yeah, a pound gonna... of cocaine and see what happens. Let's yeah, give this yeah, killing machine mind-altering drugs right now. Yeah. So it was. Uh, she kept giving it Xanax hmm. and it ate her eyes. <laughs> Fair trade, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she's not a very I good drug dealer. I give you Xanax, you receive eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you receive the eyes from my head. I don't think the woman received anything, actually. No. No, actually, she didn't. She kind of gave away her eyes and her Xanax. <clears throat> well, what I want to know, though, is, yeah, like, do you, do you think she had a Xanax, like... Probably. ...prescription? Or did the chimpanzee have a Xanax prescription? Cause if so, who's oh. prescribing monkeys drugs? I'm sure there probably is like a like some vets out there that deal with like exotic animals, like non typical. Like obviously you can't go to so. like a dog and cat vet for a fucking chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah, I brought my horse to the dog vet and they're all confused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, can you just, dog me. Can you just walk any animal into a vet? Like surely there's some animals they turn down, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if you tried to get a, a full live blue whale into a regular vet, they would. Oh, what are you just on. carrying it under your arm like basketball? <laughs> I got it in the back of a little wagon that I dragged behind me. My beluga is sick. He's coughing. Help. <laughs> they don't yeah, blow I'm, no more. I'm, I imagine they, they, they have a, a line where they're not going to. I'm sure it, it, if, if you can buy it at a pet store, you can take it to a regular vet. That's probably the. Okay, now that's what, probably a good rule of thumb. What constitutes yeah. as a pet store? Because what if I buy a back alley beluga? Is that, that's that not a pet store. That's a back alley beluga. But he's own, but it's his store. He's you can't located. buy BABs and take him to the vet. That doesn't work. <laughs> Big B -A -B. ass belugas? Back alley belugas. That's what oh. we call it in the biz. <laughs> it's like CTC. Remember that? Cemental script. BABs. There's a BAB yeah. in the area. <laughs> Any vets, let us know. What, what do you have to turn down? Has anybody yeah. walked a horse into your store before? 
I mean, I feel like I mean, as a vet, wild. as a vet, you're technically like a doctor, so you have to learn how to like act with different animals. I don't think they treat. I don't think they teach them how to work on like a slug. Like nobody's bringing <laughs> oh, a fucking shit. slug on a leash. How do you even tell if your slug's alive or not? <laughs> if it's I don't wet. Know, it hasn't. How do you know when you take it in? Sluggy in multiple days. When I don't you know. dunk it in salt, it doesn't react. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you get one anyway. shot at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't think. Dude, me, me and a bunch of my friends when we were little, like, uh, we went to this little fucking pond behind a baseball diamond, and there was turtles that always had leeches stuck to them, and we used to literally just dunk those things in salt and watch them freak out. Oh, the leeches? Hell, oh, yeah. Yeah, leeches are wild. They're scary as hell looking. <laughs> They're little, like, yeah. teeth. They're just, they are they're fucking just like creepy. Little wrinkly dicks. They're like aliens. Yeah, I suppose they're kind of like wrinkly dicks in a weird with teeth. Weird way. Yeah, dicks with teeth. Nothing better than dicks with teeth. I'll tell you that for free. Mm. Have you seen teeth? But yeah. I don't know. Pepperoni <laughs> pizza pussy, is pretty the good. The pussy one. The pussy one. Yeah. They should make yeah, a dick yeah, version. Seen... But yeah, the pussy one. Yeah. Dentures and it's like teeth but it's an old man wiener and there's dentures in it and it's not that interesting because they fall out sometimes and also it just comes teeth <laughs> just, he fucking blows a load and just a full set of dentures flies out That's of his hole. <laughs> god i don't think anybody making that <clears throat> somebody make it i don't think that's gonna happen does anybody have anything interesting or exciting to talk about this week uh <laughs> Uh, not really. I'm helping my parents move currently, so that's pretty much all okay. I've been doing. Yeah, me and Do have very boring lives. Does you haven't he, noticed we wait, don't tell does, a whole lot of stories. Does that mean the well, uh, original The Do House is, is no longer? It's getting nuked. Yep. Oh, the old right. house is getting nuked, so. Yeah, we'll have to pour one out for that that bedroom. That old well, what, iconic oh, what the bedroom. walls have seen in that house. About a month. <laughs> <laughs> so many episodes of Survivor and so many shits. Yeah, literally, like, unwillingly watching all episodes of Survivor. Start my, to finish. My poor house. <laughs> but yeah, about a month from now, the old do room will be demolished, buddy. It's kind of sad. It yeah. is sad. It is sad. Because, like, moving is one thing, but, like, having your old, like, house just completely turned to yeah. dust. You grew up in that house, yeah. too, right? That's the only house I knew before this one, so. Oh. That's wild. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a little sad. I mean, quite sad. <clears throat> this house is, like, astronomically better and cleaner. Like, my allergies are gone and shit. There's, like, mold yeah. in that house. So, like, ultimately, it's good say, that I it's getting I feel getting like I'm really sniffling all the time in that other house. Like, nonstop sniffles. There's, like, 30 years of dusty, moldy shit. Like, the ba the basement used to back up. We get our neighbor's shit in the basement. Oh. Because our house was at the bottom of a hill. And so everybody shit collected, and it would come up in our basement. So our ne my next door neighbor's <laughs> shit was in my basement. Did you, did you live in a medieval village? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just that the, the house was very poorly made. It's old as shit. The plumbing is yeah. awful. Um, so yeah, no, right, it's it's well. actually ultimately a net positive that it's being nuked. It's just kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's, uh, you'll never be able to have that like like feeling of like. Like, 10 years down the road, driving by and looking at your old house, being, oh, I used to live there, and you talk about memories and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. some, like, brand new ass duplexes or something now, so mm. be a little sad. Mm. That's wild. So that's pretty much all I'm doing is helping my parents remove 30 years of shit from their house. That's a lot of shit. That is a lot of shit. That is a substantial yes. amount of shit. Is Dubre like, hoarder? Is she one of those people that, like, never throws shit away? Uh, She's one of those people that, it, like, attaches sentimental value to a lot of things. So yeah. she's not like a chronic hoarder. It's just everything has value to her, you know. Yeah. So it's fair. She's throwing away everything now, but over time, she just kept a lot she's of shit. Collected a lot of stuff, yeah. Especially if you have like a basement, like a big area of storage. I feel like yep. that just encourages that kind of behavior. Yeah, storage is dangerous. Even yeah. like the one year I lived at the, or I guess the two years I lived at the house I had before this one, um, there was like three rooms downstairs that were just empty. And it was so easy to just throw shit in there and forget about it. <coughs> yeah. And like, uh, I, I would, in my head, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll use this eventually. And then you never actually use it or remember it's there or care about it. <laughs> After like three days, and, you completely forget yeah, about it for yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. I, I started a little, a little rule. Like when, uh, when, when I was moving is like everything I haven't thought about or touched in a month can get thrown out. So That's I fair. like purged so yeah. much fucking shit. Um, you know what is was, fun though is when good. you finally do go through, you find a bunch of shit. You're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that, and then you like 
That has yeah. been nice. Like it's old like, like action figures that I had as a kid. Yeah, and stuff. I mean, I mean, you can keep like stuff like that that is genuinely nostalgic. But I'm talking about like, right? I don't know, a fucking broken like trampoline you kept in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a fucking broom that has a bunch of bristles missing. Yeah, yeah. like it just like why just did I throw keep this shit? This shit? Out. Do I have dementia? Like why is this here? <laughs> yeah, like one of those yeah, people that, that saves like a go. a random wheel off a chair because you never know. You might need that someday. <laughs> I do actually have a wheel from a chair in my closet that right. I didn't know if I'd ever need again. You have a it was off a, it was off a DX racer, but it fit in the bottom of my Herman Miller. So I was like, okay, well that's my, fair. Uh, I was like, if one of my Herman Miller wheels ever breaks, I got I got a backup in the closet. I think I think uh, office chair wheels are like all universal. Like you can just yeah, buy I'm a four pack sure. on Amazon. Just yeah, but I don't need to because he's a hoarder. No, he's <laughs> I'm not a hoarder. No hoarding. I don't have storage in this house to hoard. It's that's it's actually not pretty. You are in your basement, aren't you? Yeah, like where your room yeah, is. Yeah, but well, I mean, this room will be this room will eventually be like <clears throat> storage empty-ish. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be storage eventually. But I have a bunch of storage rooms, but they're all like actually used for like important shit, like Christmas stuff and like you know things you don't have all the time. So I don't really have any like yeah junk storage to just keep nonsense, which is actually really good to be honest. Yeah. So, but that's, uh, that's, that's exciting that your parents are moving out of there and no longer have to live in the, the, the mold and shit house. house. Yeah. Yes. You thought that yeah, me that shitting on the mattress positive. was the worst shit that's ever happened in that house? Hell no. Yeah. That basement sounds like a nightmare. My old basement flooded like twice and both times were kind of my own fault. Oh, there he is. Hello, hey Soup. guys. Here's oh. buddy. Hey, Here's buddy. Steam Labs OBS. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? Very big fan of you. Oh, oh, my God. Is that Ethernet. Ethan, too? Yes, hey, buddy. Sorry. What's sorry up, about Ethan? Sorry late, fellas. Unacceptable. Okay. Kill yourself. You me. We were talking about uh, Dew's basement flooding with shit at his old house, and my basement flooded so. once, and that was it. <clears> okay. Yep. So, so you, right didn't, on, you didn't right miss on out track. on anything. <sighs> Yeah, you didn't miss out on anything interesting. What, what were you guys doing? Mm. I'm out of breath. Speaking of shit. Oh, were you guys doing like a reaction stream or something? No. <clears throat> my, my stomach has been running off all day and Ethan's been helping me wipe. Ah, Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Taco sweet. Bell, uh, is that the, betrayed it's like the only reason he ever comes to visit, just to wipe your yeah. butt. Just to wipe your ass. <laughs> once a week. <laughs> only, he only needs it once a week. <laughs> like 200 bucks a week. I'm a butt. That's every a time. lot of diarrhea. <laughs> That is, that is a, a significant I'm, portion I'm of diarrhea if you of need poop. once a week. Oh, push and pee, baby. Do any of you guys a uh, question about, since we're talking about poop? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And recorders. Um, and <laughs> recorders? I said poop and recorders. And recorders. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Henry? Is Henry that a recorder or is that like a flute? Henry uh, I think it's a, a thingamabob flugelhorn. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, no, I forgot about those. Fair enough. Old, uh, it's like something trunk. my dad plays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do any of you guys have bidets? No. No. Uh, no, I no. do not. It's How called, called, a, a, called a tongue. They are great. <laughs> I have a dog. I have a hand, yeah, McNasty. That's all I need. <laughs> I do this number. Sick my tongue, dude. Mind. If my if my toilet licked my ass. I would just get you a medium sized dog, dude. They're like twenty bucks. <laughs> you don't ever get like twenty bucks. You don't you get like a little Poseidon's dog. kiss ever. The water comes up and kisses yeah, you. Water yeah. balls. Comes oh, back yeah. up. Yeah, that always feels really good. I like that's, that. That's basically a bidet right there. Just drop fat turds. The right. You just need to shit at a higher velocity, and then you don't need a bidet. <laughs> the only problem with that is every time that happens, the toilet bowl is also full of piss. So then I just get piss all over my ass. True. All poops equal one Never piss. Thought of that. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think we're a set of pissy ass. Oh, we well. survived. Why is Luigi there? Luigi. Is that the new vibe for the My day? mama D's. <laughs> I don't know that's that. funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> God, you're you are just in fucking shambles. I know. There. I was like, I want to make a new theme before I come on here, but I don't know what to do, so I was like, I'll just reuse what I got. I like yeah, how the, nothing like reusing Luigi. The edge of the camera on both sides has like these little cutoffs, and you just look like there's like spikes. On side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like your chair is a throne. High, 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 high production. <laughs> Do you have yeah. that little like Elgato green screen that's like not wide enough to cover your whole back? Uh, no, it's a it's a pop up, but it I got an, an extra uh, Jeff one, <coughs> but it wasn't big enough. Nice. Though. <laughs> Not an extra Jeff yeah. one. That's sick. The largest Jeff they had. Ethan, 
Ethan, what have what have you been up to these days, brother? I've been on the road. You've been on the road. Damn, that's a big ass alien. Like Willie Nelson? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nothing much really. Just here and there and oh, everywhere, okay. you know. <laughs> that's that's fair enough. <laughs> can cannot argue with that. <laughs> Now I'm here. <laughs> Soup, what is the fucking theme today, buddy? What's going Chaos. on? Yeah. Sandwich man, alien, and Luigi. <laughs> and news. It all fits. In in the news. Fox it's news. Fox. It's, it's all related. Spike couch. Jesus Christ. How long have you guys been going? I'm, I, I feel... Uh, uh, weird to, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Nice. Uh, 17 so for I'm not me, that late. actually. No, you you got yeah, on did. right on time. We did we did a the intro was pretty weak today though. I will say the yeah. the beatboxing was, was not yeah, very the beatboxing boring. was was pretty mid. It was kind of like monkey step. But <laughs> mm, yeah, I do good. enjoy a good monkey step. I know you monkey do. footing around. <laughs> monkey fist your balls. <laughs> Quite monkey footing. I don't know if I've heard that term before, but <laughs> no, I've never heard that in my entire life. Little monkey footing. <clears throat> Well, Soup, have you had anything exciting going on? I asked them, and uh, Dude's just moving, and McNasty is just blurry. Oh, so. actually, yeah, I, <laughs> I do have something pretty exciting going on. Uh, Didn't what's that? ask. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm Man, gonna promo. So I'm gonna come in here, show up late, and then promote my own shit because you know I'm, I'm, yeah, a, I'm an asshole. This, I'm about it. I'm a fucking fun, asshole. I don't Go think they ahead, expected bitch. anything less, honestly. <laughs> yeah, show up late. Yeah, no. <laughs> and only talk about <laughs> myself and leave. <laughs> uh, show up ten minutes, promote his shit. Yeah, dude. I, so for people that don't know, I'm in a band. Slackjaw's the name of it. <clears throat> we got offered the coolest fucking show we've ever been offered. Oh. Uh, we played at a venue in Atlanta called The Masquerade. It's like a fucking legendary place. Like, so many bands have played mm -hmm. there and everything. And uh, whenever we got done playing... Um, one of the dudes who put the show on asked me like to come sit and talk with him, and I felt like I was in trouble at first or something. Like you know, he's like, "Hey, come here, let's have a talk." I was like, "Oh God!" Like I thought I had like incited a riot. <laughs> you or ran something. over my dog in the parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> I saw you humping my I saw you humping my dog, and I just needed. <laughs> no, but he sat me down and he was like, uh, "Would you guys be interested in doing like a bigger show?" And of course, I was like, uh, "Yeah, absolutely." And we got a slot with a band called Voivod and uh they're like a legendary metal band they've been around since the 80s they're doing like a 40th anniversary tour and uh we get to open for them in Atlanta in like this uh in Damn. this mini Damn, I'm sorry. in this mini arena it's like a thousand person little mini arena and so I'm like wow. Shitting, Ain't nothing many about it. Shitting myself. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that a thousand sound people. That many. Yeah, it, the, that's uh, that's pretty substantial. Yeah, the capacity is like a thousand people. It's May 18th, so if anybody wants to come, you know, we like pretty much he, when he was talking, he was like, "Do you guys think you'll be able to like, you know, get people at the show?" And I'm like, "I I honestly don't know. I mean, I'd hope so. Like, I don't. I have, have no fucking idea. Uh, Goon strip would be dope for that. Yeah, May Hell 18th. Yeah. Have you ever thought about live streaming some of your shows? I've thought about like it. Dragon Force does, and like Trivium does, and shit. No free tickets. <laughs> I've I've thought about it, but it's it's just a good way to promo. Yeah, it, you know? it's something I want to do, but it's like the uh, like the production and shit when it's only you know four or five people, and two of those yeah, people yeah. are not even in the band. They're just like fucking Ethan and like my girlfriend helping Ethan with the helping run the show. <laughs> you know, much. Least, yeah, like we uh, it, it's pretty hard to like set all that shit up <laughs> alongside setting up actual equipment one day though i, yeah, I, I feel cool. like that's just an extra layer of stress yeah. for like something that's already still pretty yeah, yeah. like not yeah. new maybe one i feel day, like internet would be kind of a weird to... like a weird thing with that like how would you get internet on like a whatever you're streaming on well i'm you sure you just it. get data yeah. like 5g data is more than about enough the audio. to stream how would that work you I just mean, have to hook it oh that would yeah that sound like it'd be kind of cursed if it's coming through a camera it would yeah, well, usually, usually, I believe it sounds good. I believe it. bands that do stuff like that, yeah, like how our videos on our channel sound now because it's just like GoPro audio and shit. It's I figured, like, ass walking around, yeah. Maybe like a shotgun mic might work, or I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, it's better to get a little bit of content up so people can get an idea of what's going on, even though it doesn't sound great. Like, it's still something for people to watch, you know. So, yeah, you could just I mean, record it and then stream the recording afterwards, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, after you like, like oh, if you just oh, had it yeah, like, like had it recorded, the and then you could kind of you could like touch up the audio and stuff like that. You could add like compression and shit yeah, like damn. that in post, and then basically just upload it kinda as like the a live, you know, stream. Um, Calling the crossfire, you did. 
Right, yeah. Same just, idea, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, a lot of bands like that do that, though, they have the... No way. The, no fucking way. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Are you using a back scratcher right now? He is. Yeah. He's got the bear claw. Dude, are, are you a fucking... You're 85? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. He's got a promo. Here we go. Here comes a promo. I thought it was a fucking fly swatter, and you were just swatting flies off your back. It is a fly swatter. Is it a real bear paw? It's just not a very good one. Is that taxidermy? Is that a taxidermied hand? (laughs) Miniature bear. I don't know. My cousin got it for me for Christmas like two years ago, and I just fucking love it. That is a shit-ass Christmas present. Oh, out of any any Christmas present I've gotten in the past two years, this is the thing I use the most. I use every fucking day. couldn't bear to buy anything You are not on the nice list. (laughs) Dude, it's, you you, you've never used like a back, like any, like those extendable ones, like the, the tall scabbard no, ones. No, I'm not. I use my hand. Uh, I can. Reach oh no, my I use the wall too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a bear. I don't just scratch up on a fucking tree. Yeah, that's what I do. I do it on the, the door. On the walls of my house. Yeah, I go to a corner of my house. And <laughs> oh, just like the jungle. Yeah, the guy, the guy who rubs his asshole on a building needs a back scratcher. <laughs> rub your back on a building. I did that one time, and I was like 11. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, one allegedly. time you got Only caught. That doesn't define my personality, <laughs> boss. Stop talking about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I use the it's I toxic. use the corners. I use the door uh, the doorways because they're like most most of the walls in my house have like rounded corners. We're talking so, like, about ass can't... rubbing still, right? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about scratching rounded my back. Corner, I hope ass so. rubbing. But like, if We're I'm talking about the... bidets still, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm not gonna come in here and get my thing. I'm just gonna scratch it on the nearest. Sharp edge. How many back itches do you get? Yeah, what, Several. what's going on He's in like, your oh God, back right now? My back <laughs> itches and I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Fuck. Just use, Fuck. A, use, a, uh, use a fork. <laughs> what do I do? I will admit I have used a fork before. I was in the kitchen. I was yeah. like, God damn it. And I just, you know, I still used it to eat. Just a f- full-size yeah. butcher's knife. Yeah. Just like a nine You know what's worse, though? Back. What's worse is when you're laying in bed and you get a real bad itch. I just start doing the worm. Like a worm and stuff. Start doing the worm. Just jump out the window. (laughs) (laughs) Flicking around. (laughs) Jump out the window. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it would probably... You wouldn't wouldn't really focus on it. If you die... You break your back and you lose all the glass breaking would scratch your back. Yeah, the glass... Yeah, (laughs) they would do that. Come on now. You'd probably do a lot more than that. Or you could do like what my Arab father did. Every time I'd complain about something hurting, he would smack me somewhere else. No, he'd smack me somewhere else and be like... Now you're not thinking about it, but yeah. then I'd actually just be thinking about both. Like, well, now my and nose is really parents happen. funny moments. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like yeah. some child abuse. I'm just thinking yeah. about my nose bleeding now. Yeah, now so, my nose is bleeding yeah. and my back itches. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there. My out tooth here. is on the floor, but my back's okay. <laughs> Isn't that what they used to do back in the olden olden days? Like if your foot was broken, they just like slap you upside the head twelve times. I think that w- in order to like get you to forget about the pain, then. it has to be an even worse pain. Okay. Yeah. I don't so think if you have, you have, like, your legs got cut off, I don't think I could just flick you in the what nose. pain like, threshold hey, about equals it. back itch? I have a toothache, so they <laughs> shot out both my knees with 12 gauges. I bet it would Is work. Is itching technically a pain? Is itching a pain? I don't... I, I it's imagine more just it's a probably the same area. I don't know. I don't. I feel like that's a question for somebody who understands <laughs> brains. And that yeah, we need Neil deGrasse Tyson on the podcast. Is there an, an itchy fetish? <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Probably. I don't, I don't know. There's, uh, There's maybe, a fetish for everything. How would you even like... You just tickle you, yourself with a feather all day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, no, there's tickling ones. There's you tickling. walk around with a little feather attached to your back. It's like, uh, there's, nice. there's tickling fetishes. I know that one. Like, there's yeah, fucking there people that, ones. like, yeah, want to get, like, strapped down and they get tickled <clears> on their <throat> fucking armpits or feet or whatever the fun. fuck it is. That's how you br- dislocate your shoulder. What? Getting, getting tickled? tickled? If you strap yourself down and then you convulse. Sounds really? like you have an exact <laughs> example you're thinking of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've tested this on multiple times. this one time. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I punched my ex in the face for tickling me once. Ever tell what? You that? Okay. I always forget that you have exes. Do they all <laughs> live in? I always shocking. forget that you're not a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just devoid Sorry. of any You've female interaction his entire life. Do they life? live in Texas? You mean to tell me you talked to a woman? <laughs> I did once. <laughs> I'm I'm extraordinarily ticklish, and she knew that she would poke my armpit one time. I I uncontrollably punched her in the face. Dude, I would tickle the shit out of you. If I, yeah, met you, you I don't think that would hold, I don't think that would hold up in court. <clears throat> yeah, if you were just like. She tickled me, so I punched her 16 times in the Did face. Did someone look up if anyone's Has anyone been arrested for tickling someone? Depends on what state you're in, I think. 
<laughs> well, is I think if you're tickling random women in a parking garage, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like sexual assault. <laughs> I'm just a uh, tickle monster. I love that. The parking, <laughs> the parking garage really add another layer yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Penis. Anywho. He's called Goons! Oh yeah, oh, he's yeah. called Changed Goons. The, you guys yeah. literally just cannot allow even a .5 seconds of silence, can you? Alright, let's have, let's have ah! s silent goon moments. I'm not a goon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only you think about uh, it. Go ahead, Ethan. <laughs> so, uh, the other day, I was walking down the street. I was thinking to myself... Is this start of a joke? Uh, you lost already, so... Oh. <laughs> he didn't say Simon just says. lost the game. The more I talk, the less I say. What does that mean? You just gotta think about it. Charmin's uh, Charmin's motto, motto. No, you're thinking about Charmin, <laughs> the toilet you're paper. About Downey. Oh yeah. Or Brawny. Isn't that I'm always thinking about Downey? <clears throat> isn't Brawny? What is? Isn't Downey? What? Downey. What is happening? We're naming uh, less is big more napkin brands. <laughs> Steve Jobs. Are we just shilling now? We can be. Walmart. Okay, I'll shill. I'm chilling. Apple. Shilling. Uh, that sounds know, like a really cool dance move back in the day or something. No, I thought shilling? that was a, a form of money back in the day. Shilling. No, you're thinking that about also shilling. Yeah, like isn't a it? yeah, shill shilling is. Yeah, no, I think a shilling I is a shekels. Is a money too. Uh, I'm pretty sure a shilling is like like I'll give you a shilling. Isn't that what the fucking and they say? You, uh, I don't know anything. If you marry my daughter, isn't yeah, like exactly. uh, what the the fucking Norwegians use? Like I think you're thinking of chitlin. I don't think I'm thinking of chitlins. <laughs> I'm thinking of grits. I'm thinking of chitlin for your daughter. Say grits. <laughs> don't the, don't grits. the Norwegians use like speckled door coins or something? <laughs> what Bitcoin I don't know about that. bullshit is that? <laughs> Bitcoin? Speckled door. I, 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 I don't know what the Norwegians use, buddy. I'm not sure. Runes. Yeah. Runes. Probably euros for Runes. 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 A Rooney. A Rooney and a Tooney. Blark, what's been up? Yeah, what's been up with you? Anything interesting with you? <sighs> um, I uh, I I hit a million subs. Oh yeah, That's cool. yeah, yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah, yeah. You know what? Just and, for now, uh, you get one toot. I finally <laughs> respect you. If I if I can, I'll fart for you at some point too. I'll give you two. <laughs> okay, I'd appreciate I'll that. I'll start cooking. Uh, up. but so, I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast at all, but I worked for Smitty for a very short stint. Um, Did you really? Right. I I yeah. Right that. when I. Uh, yeah. Right when I quit uh, my other actual <laughs> like outside jobs and finished school and stuff like that, I just kind of needed to make as much money as possible to like, you know, afford to keep doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I worked for Smitty for about a month. That was it. But he. Framed you edited this for him? me. Yeah, he framed this for me. This is a contract. This is gonna have to be blurred. The editor, I will try not to move it. But this is a contract of. Our NDA and obviously like everything to do with editing, and on it it says, uh, in order for me to no longer be employed by him, I have to give a two week notice, and I never gave a two week notice. Hell yeah! Um, so <laughs> the day gonna sue the you. day after I hit a million, the day after I hit a million, I went to his house to drop off. Like my girlfriend made me a cake, and I dropped it off at his house, and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you footage that you need to get to," and just handed me that. That's, That's like, hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so, I motherfucker's been saving that for like two years. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> Literally, like, I, I threw mine out. Like, I had the the form as well, and I had it in my filing cabinet, and I was like, oh, I haven't worked for him in a long time. I'll throw yeah. it out. I don't need it anymore. And he ha fucking had that shit on deck, and uh, like knew where it was to frame it. Like, he's just been waiting for That's it. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang it up, and it's just kind of funny. I don't know. It's just a a, a good reminder of. Uh, of where I came from, and that he could always sue so. you at any point because you never gave him. Yeah, a two and that he could sue me at any point. Owe him a I lot still of didn't. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm never. I'm never doing. I'm never giving him my two weeks. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking sick. Yeah, no, that is cool. But yeah, no, it feels. Uh, it feels feels good to finally be past that number, despite it not actually like <clears throat> you know making any difference whatsoever. You got. Um, you know what you got to do is you got to wait till he hits ten mil and then give him your two weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give him the two week. <laughs> At that point, he's gonna think I'm quitting fucking Smitty Plus videos or something. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Imagine if that's how YouTubers had to work. We all had to like sign contracts to like play with each other and shit. Oh, <laughs> that'd be fucking. I well, I know. I wouldn't even be there surprised is, if that. We had happened. to like get formal. I was gonna say, say didn't there is. Play. I, yeah. There is a group I know of that does do NDAs, but it's just NDAs. They don't do like yeah, yeah. contracts of like you can't record with this person, but like. Basically, it just says, like, anything we say, because the editors had to sign it as well. 
Um, basically, like anything that any of them say during a session, like before or whatever, um, like outside of recordings, cannot be used and stuff like that. And you can't talk about it. But what? yeah, there is there is a group I I know of that has NDAs with all like all of them have NDAs with each other. It's it's really fucking. Well, that is but. something this group needs. I don't know what group you're talking about. But we could benefit from that. <laughs> yeah, we really fucking could. We are literally just relying on each other to not ruin each other's it's ma it's mad it's mutually assured destruction at this yeah point. we could literally <laughs> just be like youtube al-qaeda where we take each other out with us like yep. we could just suicide bomb our own That'd careers be fun. any day we want to <laughs> let's do that sometime. sometime i don't think i want to do that i kind of i kind of like being where what I if i just cancel nice. myself and then like uh i don't know i don't what if i cancel I myself and then really go live on twitch <laughs> doing the worm down the road didn't think about that, that one, you did would you earn hard. everyone's respect back their respect would be back True, for you. Yeah. It would be uncanceled. Yeah. Immediately I'm uncanceled. Redeem. You can say yeah, any word you want anything. as long as you can worm down the road. Yeah. Short, shortest <laughs> cancel in history. I sure get out of jail ticket right there. <laughs> <laughs> PewDiePie should have learned that. And he said the word <laughs> on the bridge. He <laughs> says, just, says the N word on the bridge and, did a worm. and just switches scenes to a camera on the road and he's just doing the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Worming across a bridge. <laughs> yeah, that is so silly. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all see the uh, y'all see the lollies get upset with me yeah, on Twitter I yesterday. No, I saw happened? something about that. What happened? <laughs> okay, so I've had beef with the Minecraft viewer community forever. Oh no! I just I hate them. I hate when they I hate when they interact with me. I don't <laughs> want them watching my videos. I don't want them in my fan base. They're just fucking annoying. But I I, I put that coral to the video. side. I put that coral <laughs> like to the like side. Three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you got to approach it where if yeah, you play yeah. the game, you got to say the most outlandish shit yeah. ever. Yep. So when they do come across it, they're like, oh my god, maybe this is the next dream. And then you just <clears throat> talk about eating an infant because it's hard boiled <laughs> or something. And they just, they're just like, okay, this isn't dream. This isn't for me. I'm not going to watch this. This is a nightmare. This. But, uh, <laughs> so there was, there was this girl walking around <laughs> so at some stupid. fucking, uh, some anime convention saying, like, uh, fetishizing uh, children is is should be you know is bad you know it's it's mm -hmm. like a form of pedophilia fetishizing yeah. even drawn children is fucking weird. Um, so she had a sign that basically that... said the sky is blue. Yeah, she said. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, one of the coldest <laughs> takes you could have. Yeah. You should not kill your and, uh, family. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this dude, there's this dude who recorded himself fucking going up to her, and he's like. You looking for a fight here and shit? Like, yelling at this girl for carrying the sign. Is that like an anime convention? And I quoted it, like, fucking making fun of the dude like everyone else and saying it's okay and acceptable to bully lollies, because it is. And, uh, yep. and they all got really mad at me. A bunch of lollies were, like, quote retweeting and shit and replying pictures of, like, lolly Do shit. replace the word fucked. bullying with the killing? Yeah, see, that's that's Torturing. where I'd like to go. But actually, Elon did say comedy's legal on Twitter again, so maybe maybe we can <laughs> can threaten their lives. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, so I decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna change my my holy crusade from getting rid of all the uh, Minecraft stands in my audience to getting rid of every single lolly that's in my audience because they are just the I'd fucking definitely say worst that's thing worse ever. than a Minecraft fan. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. much much worse. Yeah, so uh, I I decided to play some some 5D chess yesterday. And I tweeted that I'm, I'm my moral crusade is now against them, and I'm at war with the lolly community in and my you audience. Gained a million followers. Uh, well, you, you got my support, I, I, buddy. <laughs> so I don't, how do I fund this but campaign? What, like, Larg is now yeah, the that's, most that's followed where we got person to a million. on Twitter. <laughs> from 999,000 to two million. <laughs> what happened is they thought they thought they were winning by showing up in in droves, but the whole point of me not wanting these people is so I could just block as many out of them, you know, out of my community as possible and get as many out of my yeah. following as Show possible. Yourselves. And they all showed up at the same time. <laughs> yeah, they literally just came out of the fucking woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I literally, I probably blocked a thousand people in one day. It was just incredible. It was like the most successful holy crusade I've ever had. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to announce my, my war with the lollies. Um, that is, uh, that will be ongoing. For, I would uh, hope there are no time. lolly supporters that watch us. Leave. You'd be fucking shocked uh, at how many times uh, like, I had a reply <laughs> of somebody that was like, disappointed, Blarg, been a fan for years. <laughs> it's like, stop jacking uh, off to drawn children, you fucking weirdo. Like, <laughs> I thought go I had away. a lot going on. This man hit a million subs <laughs> and started a war. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it. It just it. Sometimes you just got to do it all in a day, you know. I hear you. 
It was uh, hell yeah, of a week yeah, for you. No, that's that's what I've been. Uh, yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> up to. Solar panels. <laughs> 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 that, is, that is What the about least solar panels? Exci- <laughs> that is Everybody's the least like, exciting comment. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> did like, not <laughs> ask. <laughs> Like a conversation you'd have with like your wife's friend's <laughs> husband that you don't know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck with solar panels or more of a solar, solar guy or a wind right? energy guy. <laughs> coal. What's your preferred form of energy? I do electric. I dumbass. roll coal into the atmosphere. <laughs> I have a, a wood burning stove in my home. <laughs> more of a steampunk guy. <laughs> yeah, a little less interesting, but I've been dealing with uh, solar panels on my home. How's it's, that going? What the fuck do I, I keep say? Talking that? shit to him, and he keeps punching him. And they don't do it. It's crazy. I fucking dude. I hate solar panels. My my Whoa. crusade recently has been against getting solar on your home. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Why are you doing it? Then? I listen. The home I purchased had solar panels on it, and mm-hmm. I've had dude. It, it's it is a fucking nightmare. Like they're listen. They're great for saving money, saving energy, whatever the fuck. They're good. Yeah. They are good. It it does save you money. But the I guess the company or whatever that installed these um, did like a shit job because my my home has a metal roof and metal roofs are guaranteed for like fifty years right like they can last like yeah. pretty much forever and uh, the person who had the home I guess thought it would be a great idea to drill holes into the roof to put solar on top of this metal roof and now my my ceiling is leaking. <laughs> Oh, dude. I feel like even as somebody who is not a contractor and knows anything about building, that seems like a giant dude, no-no well, of you <laughs> listen yeah. to drill holes in the ceiling. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's yeah. like, dude, you have a metal roof. It's like the best you can fucking get, and you want to drill fucking holes in it? Like, that's like <laughs> monkey 101. Like, don't, don't put a hole in some shit. I didn't take that class. You know I mean? <laughs> but that's what yeah, I've been fucking dealing with, dude. It's a, it is a nightmare. If something goes wrong, because I called... I've had two different roofers come out and like a roofer is like, I'm not fucking with that. Like I don't, they're just completely against fucking with solar panels. Got so you roof, can't, buddy. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Go ahead. But, uh, <laughs> this is just a PSA for anybody thinking about getting solar. Just put them in your yard. <clears throat> don't put them on your fucking roof. Yeah. You don't have to put them on the roof. Yeah. I don't know. Put them yeah. in your yard. I mean, I mean, if you have the kind of like land that you have, cause you have a lot of like, you have like an acre of land or something, don't you? Something like that. Yeah. So yeah, you can put them on. But I mean, there are people who live like literally. My neighbor is like six foot away from me. Like I feel like I can reach over the put fence it in and touch your house. Six feet. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what this guy? Oh my god. Come six put feet his actually. finger up and everything. <laughs> According <laughs> to my actually, research, it's gonna be six feet. Actually, <laughs> also though, six foot. Also, if. At least in my situation, if your solar messes up, not just any solar company will come and fix it. It has to be the one that it came and installed it. Mm. It is a hellscape. It is a hellscape. I basically threatened them. That sounds like and they say ass. we'll be there in two years. Yeah, I basically threatened them on the phone because <laughs> I've been calling them, and it's so fucking funny how when you call these companies, basically it was an interesting word there. Yeah, I was going to say, did you just cock a shotgun where you didn't actually say anything? You just yeah. <laughs> insinuated that he you could do it? He walked outside, he's like, listen here, buddy. Y'all going to show up soon. Well, I've, dude, every time I've called these people, I've called them like four or five times. If you, if you try to contact the service department, which is the fucking department that works on shit, it goes like straight to voicemail. You can't get them to pick up the phone. But if you call the goddamn sales department, boy, they pick that phone up at record speed, son. <laughs> Woo! They pick that yeah, phone up fast as hell. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I want to scream. Ah! That's a good oh, one. Fair enough. Okay. He really, he really lives up to his word. Do you, you feel better? He, he did it. He says he's gonna do it, and he so does. Wind it. energy is word. better. Wind energy? Yeah. I don't know. Put turbines on. I don't your know roof. why we just hydro electric. We, we need to start putting like plutonium rods in our home. I mean, that would solve every issue. It would power you everything. You know, nuclear yeah. energy Everyone is actually nuclear literally nuclear one of the grid. most efficient ways to get energy. It is not one of the... It is the most efficient yeah, yeah. way to get energy. It's literally just our it's government preventing I us I still don't get how that powers a submarine, it. though. That makes no sense to me. Yeah, well, I think Chernobyl scared everyone a little bit. Yeah. But, like, that was so long ago. And, like... I did it on purpose. In terms of, like... In terms of uh, things that could go wrong, nuclear is actually one of the uh, safer ones, which is kind of ironic. I believe it. 
It's just when it goes wrong, it goes very fucking wrong. Whereas like <clears throat> yeah. the whole plant is just like bad. I couldn't imagine yeah, being a thousand feet under the ocean and they're like, yeah, there's like a nuclear thing turning the thing back there to oh. make us go. <laughs> nuclear fission. Yeah. Nuclear, All right. Nuclear Powers fission everything. sounds good. That's what it's called. You're growing a third yeah, nut sack are, on your forehead. They are you doing nuclear there. fishing. <laughs> you come out with two heads. That'd be sick as hell. Two dickheads? There was a there was a lady that had two heads and she was a school teacher. Oh, Wait, she had the she smartest. Which one Is this like twins it, or it was the same person? Yes, yeah, she, she had two heads. They were Siamese it's twins. Like one of them and Scandinavian uh, riddles. So is that one or two people? She was a school teacher. It is two people, I think. I think yeah, the other one. one I, don't, I have so many questions about the one of them teach of Siamese uh, Spanish. I know, same. Did one of them teach Spanish and English. Like th- imagine it was only they had two heads, but they there was one. Of everything from the shoulders down, that's still two people, I guess. So yeah, right, that's usually how it is. He- it's yeah. it's two <laughs> heads connected at the shoulders. But what I want to like, I yeah, they're married. Excuse okay, me? which so, is weird. So if I think the I think husband married is married, married some, to one oh, of them, I see what you're saying. oh oh, I thought they were married to each other. They're not married together. No no no, I should. So they're they have married two different husbands. Just, but I don't actually know because like. Imagine they're going on a date with one of them, and one of them's all fucking horned up. They gotta share a pussy. That's you have to be polygamous. You don't have a choice. So like, literally, yeah. you do. Is there? I would sabotage yeah, every like, date and just start shitting. What if, just what if, tape the other mouth shut what, for the date? I don't like this yeah, guy. Piss my pants. Yeah. yeah, make the other one wear like <laughs> headphones and like like could, look away. Could or something. one knock the other? But out. They're gonna feel like, themselves they're, getting pegged. They're like <laughs> this close to each other. Like if he kablams on her face, but he, she's getting fucking extra. She's getting some of the. Could you knock the other one out? Those? Could you punch the <laughs> other? Is it a comic? They book? got that dog. Oh, yeah, that's true. Make one unconscious for the, like just knock her out. <laughs> Is that legal? I'm, I yeah, but I think if if one of them's gonna, I think if you're wait no. I guess like, right but that's what that. I don't. How Masturbation's got to be brazen. One of one of them committed a crime. Of, that's my question. They both go to jail. Oh, oh that's a good ass question. They, what if the they left shoot arm that one in the shot head. a guy, <laughs> but the right arm was like, shoot no, don't do yeah, it. The, yeah, they were trying to they stop just, it, and they're like, okay. I feel like they can incarcerate the other head in justice. They could stage something. like This is the most intense debate on the Goons podcast we've had in a long time. Yeah, no, this is. Hold on, this is. I gotta actually look up. It would fall under like martial law or something. I would just do, do say they, do they split the human in twain? <laughs> I remember <laughs> I remember I saw this TikTok of these Siamese like guys and they were they were almost completely separate. They just shared like a couple of organs, but one of them was an aggressive Republican. <laughs> was oh. an aggressive liberal. Why'd you, oh why'd you have to argue argued all the fucking time? <laughs> I don't understand. Are they this far away from this damn liberal. Shut up, ever. Jimmy. I don't know why you had to. Uh, I don't know why you had to bring their race into it. I mean, mentioning that they're Siamese was just uncalled for. <laughs> I think it's conjoined, but the first set was Siamese, and that's why they're called that. Is that really that? Is that Lord? I, I, Siamese, so. I didn't even know Siamese was a race. I thought it was, thought it was the kind of. Like I thought it was like that listen, chicken, the Siamese chicken. I take vitamins and <laughs> watch videos and stuff like this, so I know random shit. Okay, <laughs> well, take because you know what I mean. Because buddy. the oh, uh, because <laughs> these people are a school Vimans. teacher. There's there's not much information on their pussies on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> Hey, what if like, one, the other one was an OnlyFans like girl? <laughs> yeah, the other one's a school teacher. The other that would go so hard. One's a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Covering her face the entire oh. time. <laughs> Did you hear about that teacher that got like uh, fired for having an OnlyFans? Like a girl teacher? Yeah, that's they wild. They could take four dicks. And then the and then the uh, no. the oh, wait, principal you're right. got in trouble for. They could take four dicks. Well, really That'd six, be awesome. but yeah. Well, <laughs> wait, yeah. no, you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, where Wait, were the other two? I did going? the wrong math. Yeah, right. Right. What about the ear holes? Oh, two assholes. Middle line, baby. Come on. I don't. Wait, I, I mean, don't know if they yeah. have two two bottles. I, mean, I don't know what the lore the pussy's is. Pussy's an asshole, but different. <laughs> Fair. Amen. That's somewhere in the dictionary. Huh? I thought I that, so. that's in Deuteronomy, ain't it? I live in four. Okay. Eleventh. Eleventh. Psalm eighty nine. So that. Eleventh. Four. <laughs> yeah, why'd you drop a little fucking bar there? Oh, <laughs> was four, yeah. <laughs> Fourth day, God yeah, made uh, booby, yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's a real person, so I don't know. Do what you want with that information, but there is a lady out there who has two heads, and I don't know if it's two different ladies. I don't know if they legally Master. classify them as two different ladies. Same but. heart, lungs, and everything? One of each? 
yeah for two lungs. I'm pretty but. sure they I'm pretty sure they just share all the organs but share a neck. I'd be like look. Yeah, they just have I, extra wide shoulders with I could I could be wrong. I couldn't find uh, a ton of information on them like in the three seconds that I just looked. I'd say look, you it guys so that's all that you need to be an expert on the internet. You guys so. are one now person. Talk yeah, to that's her. true. That's all I would say. Can one of them fall asleep and the other one's awake? How does, I don't understand how that yeah. works. Yeah, because there's Probably brain activity that. that keeps you awake, so. Yeah. So, so like, what if the other one is, like, <clears throat> wanting to do laundry while the other one sleeps? Is it just going to be, like, fucking dangling yeah, like there? Dead like, what if they were, like, <laughs> sleep schedules? Maybe it's, like, something with evolution, because they could, like, sleep in the forest and nothing could attack them, because one's awake. Than the other ones. They're, oh, yeah, true. they're the more evolved being. <laughs> exactly. Dude, dude yeah. you could exploit the shit out of them in the workplace if they count as two different people. You could put them on midnights and days. Oh, that's fucked. Just, <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked. But the body would get tired. What if one of them's credit no, score no, is worse no, than the other no, one's? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how does that work? That's what I mean. Do they have to just say, look, you're one person. I get your argument here, two heads. You're one person, okay? <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of it, you have to be. What a miserable existence to have. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather just kill myself. And then the problem would be they'd have to drag my lifeless little head around the rest of the <laughs> They could, like, solder it off or something, I'm sure. <laughs> solder that, it? Solder yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a dangling on. head yeah. everywhere you go. Like, oh, don't worry about it. That, that was that 10 be years rotting. ago. <laughs> Flies in the eyeballs. Would that be considered a mur murder-suicide if they killed himself? I don't know. Uh, like, would you die? Probably, I guess. Whoa. <sighs> Imagine, imagine yeah, the know. funeral if one of them dies. Like the one that's alive would still have <laughs> yeah, to lay a, in the casket. Lay in the casket <laughs> there, just like, hey guys, hey, I'm, I'm laying Pray here. Over that head. I'm laying here till the service is over. <laughs> <laughs> just like shaking hands just, with the people who are walking by. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Yeah, we'll miss her dearly. That left arm was very <laughs> nice. Dangling. I used to love wiping with the left so arm. Now I can't use it anymore. <laughs> I mean, could they, could they actually die, though? They could just be completely brain dead because all the other organs would be working. They'd just be a total vegetable. So I don't know. So then uh, no idea. all the nutrients would go to the other brain. It'd become a genius. <laughs> Look at that. They would, absorb, they would absorb everything. I wonder how many calories they have to eat because the most Ooh. like... Because Ooh. the brain is what uses like most of your energy throughout the day. I, they probably had to eat so much fucking food to not be like complete idiots. Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Wild. I have a well, lot they could, of questions. They, they probably breastfeed on both boobs at once. <laughs> the mom must have been in <laughs> hell. The fuck are you getting both. Oh, you mean when they were a baby? The okay. When they were a yeah. kid? Oh. Yeah, you just hold them up. Just, just. <laughs> oh. I was like, well, they have a normal woman body though. It was very confusing, yeah. <laughs> Although if you did have sex with one, it's it's kind of just a threesome, so you could tell all your friends you had a three way. True. And you kind wouldn't of. have to elaborate at all. You <laughs> you wouldn't have to elaborate. I wouldn't. Actually I feel like it's more of a flex to be like, yeah, I had I had Fuck coitus with two a heads. two headed woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. That's pretty fucking metal. Like that is Yeah, that is that wild. Is, honestly that sounds like a like a like a just like metal song. I fucked a chick with two hands. That's it. That 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 Is might just be you, buddy. End of an era lyrics. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just trying to see if we'll bite and think it's cool. <laughs> we don't. We don't think it's cool. Damn it! I bite though. Oh, I'm gonna have to remake the first song. Shit. <laughs> When's that coming out, by the way? Um, very soon. I just got the uh, confirmation today that the merch um store is ready to go. Oh, oh so are you putting out merch and a song at the same time? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I thought I was a fucking idiot for a second there and asked the wrong question. I was like... Are you those talking about like my like, like YouTube merch? No, no, no. I was confused. I I, I thought I asked about merch somehow instead of the song. Oh, so I was oh. really confused. Yeah. But, well, that's, no, that I mean, the song's sense. been done for like probably over a month now. I mean, yeah, you showed us a long fucking time ago. <clears> I thought, I thought yeah. it was crazy. Yeah, so uh, I've just been waiting, waiting on the merch to go live because... We want to like release it together. I think that's pretty much what most bands that's do. They like let's do the yeah. business, man. So, do you do that? Do you like release merch with like every like album drop or something? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. That head is asleep currently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah super either. The other one's one like head butting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Not with every uh, song, maybe like with an album or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's what that's what I asked. Like an album, because you do release a lot of songs, so it'd be like. Not really. <laughs> how many no, songs, like how many songs do you have total right now? Do you know? Uh, like at least oh, ah, probably like. I mean, I have one comparatively. So I'd say there is a song. 
Yeah, I, there's I'd at least one that. song. I think I'd, 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 like, I'd be comfortable one, in agreeing with that. One, two, we got like eight. One a plus sound at some point. I think nineteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, okay. Nineteen, eighteen. I thought you said 18? 80 or 90. I was Good like, man, year. I've been missing that. still a lot 19, of like, merch 19, drops 19, to have, though. 1941. <laughs> yeah, 19 merch, merch drops might be a just little Just do much. it with the album. Imagine. Like, do, like, usually, yeah, we, we just recently did merch for a, a song that a lot of people like, but typically it's per album. That would be a good thing, that too. Like, like, if you have like one song that's like super popular, like have merch just for that song. Yes. But I feel like creating merch for every single song is like super excessive. Yeah, that's a little overkill. Yeah, absolutely. Just I mean, yours makes sense because it's your first song. Yeah. Yeah, only put out bangers and then you can do Or it. you could just uh, <laughs> release an instrumental and just uh, release a black t shirt. So, plain black t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid. With a guitar on it or something on it? Yeah, it just has four instruments on it. <laughs> I feel like I've seen those shirts at like Target. Yeah, just a PNG Basic. of a white guitar on it. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like I, I remember when I f- used to play guitar. I mean, playing guitar since I was used 10. To. But, like, <laughs> when I was younger. Maybe and, like, like, when, I, when I was learning how to play guitar, like when I was younger. Like that's what my family would always gravitate towards, like getting me gifts that were like guitar. Oh yeah, related. Uh, guitar shit like, on them. You like music? You would like this. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's just, just like like my grandma got me a guitar shaped clock one time, and it was like. Oh, I had one too. Really? And I was just like, yeah. Mm, I, don't. I had like a First flying V hanging on my. I think it's in some of my old videos still. still in my <laughs> oh no, mine room. was like a. Mine was like a. Looked like a cheap like Les Paul. I had a sports themed lamp as a kid. Had a. F- That's sick. Oh, yeah. Had a football and a soccer ball on it. <laughs> a girlfriend of mine once fused sick. a bowling ball to a lamp. A bowling and that ball? was a gift. Was she, uh, was she... <laughs> she a witch? Yeah. Was she, uh, I dated a downy girl. I was about to say, <laughs> there we go. When you say I was used. <laughs> <laughs> she used the dark arts to melt <laughs> Nuclear fusion just fucking pushed them together. She was a welder. She crafted welder it to the mines of Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> she dipped the lamp in the bowling ball in the lava. <laughs> Were you a bowler? I was a bowler. We've talked about this, and you always say yeah, it's we not have. a real sport. I'm nasty at bowling too. He's not. Are you? Are you really? We should throw some balls sometime. I am nasty, <laughs> and I'm down to throw balls. All right, balls. That's bowler lingo. You wouldn't understand. All right, I'm down so to when we're balls. when we're going to watch watch soup play in that big show, we're also going bowling. All right. What's your What's your best game? Which high score? One eighty seven. Okay, buddy. Let's, two bowls, let's like hear it. What you got? Seven hundred and seven. Two's like two ninety nine. Yeah, no, He's like I. You bowled three hundred. No, no, I've been like two strikes off, but it was like two seventy something. When I bowled a couple weeks ago, I started with four something. strikes, and I hadn't bowled in like a year. Four Damn. in a row, buddy. It's big. Yeah, but he also had the bumpers. All on right. The, no, I did not. He had the bumpers. On. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call three strikes in a row? Three strikes with the bumpers. Baby. <laughs> Oh, okay, this mind. guy Sorry. bowls. I this do. guy bowls. Dude, I've I know that. I don't fucking know anything. <laughs> I've had many a turkey. I like when the pot, <laughs> the pot roast animation comes up. For some There's reason, I was thinking of uh, like baseball, so strike was a bad word. I don't know why. I was thinking strike was a gutter ball. I've, missing. I've moved on to golf now. Oh, gutter ball is a gutter ball. Bowling is in my past. Yeah, golf is now my forte. Broke up with golf. <laughs> Bowling, new best friend. Clark, you got to come golf. No. Come on down south. I... I yeah. would love to. Actually, I'm trying to plan uh, another trip down south to golf. Let me you know. miss it down um, here, don't you, boy? <laughs> it was fun, yeah. It was it was a great time last time. It was fucking golf in there was super fun, but I think we're going to do uh, Kiowa this, this, this year. Nice. So. You want we'll like see. Hawaii? I no, have a, that's a friend Carolina. of mine that works oh. there, actually. <laughs> he really? works at the bar there, yeah. yeah. That's pretty sick. Oh, bar, that's a good place to work yeah, there. Yeah, you meet everybody. <clears throat> it's sick. Yeah, I was going to say, you feel you get so many, like, PGA players coming in just fucking hammered. They do, literally. That's what happens. Just <laughs> out of nowhere, time. they just come in. I also, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that, that was. That was for your I one million. That, that was your celebration. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, thanks, Blythe. guys. You're welcome. But uh, I miss pimento grilled cheese as well. You can't beat so it. So that's, uh, that's the uh, other half of the pimento? reason I wanted to come. That's fine. <laughs> okay, thanks, but thank you. I appreciate the the correction. What is with you guys in your fucking actually today? That's you and you <laughs> both did that. <laughs> Pimento, um, I say pimento. I, I say that. P- pimento cheese. Then there pimento. is that better. Palmetto, pimento? actually. P- p- no way. <laughs> it's keep not changing palmetto. the pronunciation. No. no shot. It's actually no we call way. it puma cheese for short. 
If you want. It's called man <laughs> milk. <laughs> Pasteurized <laughs> man milk cheese. sandwiches. <laughs> if I went to a fucking Pasture restaurant in South Carolina, asked for her pasture, pasteurized man milk. Oh, you die. Yeah, shoot you would die. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would hold a gun so to you my have five head. Five seconds to exit the building. Get out of here, Canada boy. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got your soy milk here, Canada boy. <laughs> Why don't you go suck the tit of a tree. I feel like that has definitely happens. been said before. <laughs> yeah, probably. <clears throat> Surprised nobody. Uh, Nobody picked up on me being Canadian down there. Everyone not once did I get a comment about it, which they is probably surprising. thought you were from Minnesota. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could true. have been from Minnesota. They, they do kind of about a, like an that hour from Canada up in Minnesota. It's a lot of leaves. You don't have a, a heavy so accent a though. Like I mean, it comes out with certain words. Like when you say a yeah, boot, like, sorry, yeah, a boot, a boot. house, boot. A boot. A about. Yeah, but I mean, there's, it's not often I say like house or about. Do you say sorry? You know, random. So, sorry. Yeah, you do. Sorry. So. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's how the yeah, first I time so. I figured out Jim uh, Jim Carrey was Canadian because he says sorry. I didn't I've never met a Canadian that. that doesn't say sorry. Yeah. Sorry. They don't say sorry. Sorry. Oh, They're sorry. never sorry about yeah, anything. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> how do y'all sing that? If they pronounce the it the wrong sorry. way, they don't ever have to apologize. You, <laughs> never, yeah, they're always in the right. How do you sing that song, <laughs> Barg? That sounds like, sorry, man. Sorry, I'm blue. Sorry, man. Oh, thing. Said to you. I've never heard that what song that, in my is life. Is that Hinder? Sounds like, a, that sounds Hinder? like a... Who the fuck sings I that song? I think it's Skillet or Three Bro, Days I, all I know, Sounds like Hinder. They're all the yeah. same Skillet. band. Hinder, Skillet, they're all the fucking <laughs> I'm same. I'm sorry, <laughs> band. That's Three Days of Grace, easy. <laughs> Male with raspy voice number 47. <laughs> Religious man with raspy voice number 47. David Draymond. Craw dad. To be more... Pickle juice. Dads with the craws. What happened there? 18 elbows like the in my dick. Glitch. Saying a bunch of words. Larg, you ever had a low, <laughs> a low country glitch. ball? Uh, I don't think so. I think you were telling me about it when a I was down there. A seafood boil. Isn't that just... I was going to say, isn't that when they just throw a bunch of fucking shit that they yeah. found on the side of a boat? It's like a thousand pounds of, side of a boat. seafood. You shit in a barrel and light it on fire. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong energy. <laughs> when you boil yeah, a whole no, country. Yeah, no, I have not had that. But uh, I want your barbecue again. I do miss the barbecue from the uh, Dude, I ain't going to lie. Whenever I was in Austin, uh, oh, I, I went yeah. to this barbecue place. I think oh, I talked yeah. about it. This place called Terry Black's. Brother. Yeah. A lot of people were saying to go to this place uh, Franklin's? Ca called Franklin's. Yeah. Uh, if anybody, I'm sure there's a lot of people that live in Austin that probably listen to us. So if you if you guys know, I'd like to, to hear y'all debate in the comments which one is better. They got ranked. Franklin's got ranked uh, number four in Texas barbecue. Mm. And it comes out Damn. every five years, so that's pretty it, bad, dude. It I was like, well, isn't isn't Austin the like barbecue capital of the states, it, or is that it like, might be Kansas I feel like City, fucker? I think I think Kansas that's a City, different yeah. kind of barbecue. Uh, yeah, I know they're both like they're probably the two biggest. I forget the name yeah. of the place I went to in South Carolina that fucking banged. It is it Kansas City, Kansas Missouri, Missouri, or Kansas City, Kansas? Missouri. Oh, okay. We don't associate with the other side. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you mean the side that has their name in your city? Yeah. <laughs> Questionable. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was uh I think it was Lewis Barbecue that I went to in South Carolina that banged. Did you Lewis. see it on YouTube? Uh I did afterwards. Oh. I was watching it. Yeah, it was Lewis. Yeah. It's yeah, in yeah. um uh, I know exactly what that place is. It, yeah, and so they have like I didn't even know it was like like we just googled barbecue near That's us in Charleston uh, when we were there. Yeah, it's it's uh, I forget where in Charleston. Yeah, it's in Charleston. <laughs> um, and uh, we just googled barbecue near me, and it popped up. And we got there apparently at like the perfect time. It was right before they opened, so there was not like a big line yet, but there was people waiting outside already. And we're like, all right, I don't know, maybe it's just popular today or whatever. Um, and then the line wrapped like all the way around the fucking block essentially. They sell out, and they had coolers out. Yeah, they had coolers there of like free beer. You just grab it, Damn. and it's like a like a system where like bring a beer, take a beer, like you know That's everyone just sick. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dope. Um, and then they had like this little, uh, basically a restaurant in line that just sells like uh, nachos and stuff like that. Um, and that place banged. Uh, we had nachos while we were waiting to go get our our barbecue. <laughs> Um, they sell food. Then, yeah, they have, like appetizers at the line. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's, you do it actually, right there. Now I'm thinking about it. It might be barbecue home. Now I'm thinking about it. It might be free to get the nachos. I don't know if they charged. I can't remember. Um, free but yeah, the, the, the line was just the line was well. I mean, it's it's pretty. What like, if you just go there for beer and nachos? 
<laughs> it's pretty fucking busy. Well, I, I'm I sure mean, why would you wait that. three hours for? Uh, yeah, yeah why would you wait true. three hours though for beers and nachos? Dude, Terry Black's was um, good because the line was so long, but it it was like the quickest line of that size that I've moving. ever been. It it's move. almost like a. Yeah. It's almost like, <laughs> I mean, it was way out almost into the road. It was in the parking lot when we got there. Yeah, I mean, there were probably what like fucking 100 people in line. I would say about 100. Yeah, yeah. and it, they That's they service. basically had it in... It's like a cafeteria line almost, but they're fast as fuck. You, like, walk up and they're like, yeah. what do you want? Like, what side? You immediately go in. They send you through the merch store. I got a sticker. No big deal. Yeah. It's like the soup yeah. guy from the Seinfeld episode. You have to know exactly oh, what you order. The soup in word? Well, he explained it, though. What? Can I say Not, Nazi? Nazi, yeah. Oh. Okay, that dude saying the soup N word was so much worse too. I did not have you ever see seen that. that have you ever seen that Seinfeld episode soup? Yeah, I've seen the clip of yeah. it, where everybody's like robotic and you have to like perfectly. You can show order. no emotion, or yeah. he kicks you out. Yeah. Well, this yeah. guy like explained soup it to us you. though, didn't he? Like, you can. He's like, "Have you ever been here before?" And I was like, "Nah, buddy, not even from the state." <laughs> so he just told you all the stuff you could get, and it was pretty good. I thought so. No brisket for you. There's, I got the brisket, and I got like a really, oh, I got. Brisket. I was lucky so where I was in line because I guess I got like the last like hunk of brisket, and it was. Oh, dude, it, so you got like yeah, the his was better than fatty, mine. I was in like yeah, I got like the nice like fatty part. Oh, dude, it was so fucking good. That brisket dude, fat is so, so good. So good. It's so wild that brisket was seen as like a garbage meat until barbecue like popularized yeah. it. Yeah, like it was literally like a throwaway meat. Until yeah, actually, I think like, I tried to. No, it was it was brisket. Huh. Uh, brisket's like natural. Well, that's why it has to be smoked for like fucking fourteen hours. Yeah, true. Um, it's very tough. So, yeah, it's just like tough and shit. And yeah, it was literally like a garbage meat until like American barbecue came along and mm. and popularized it again. And now it's like obviously extremely popular, which is fucking. I got hilarious. the chip. That's how tri tip used to be. Good. They used to use they used to use tri tip in like dog food and stuff. Yeah, it would just be like a, yeah. Tri tip is okay. Yeah. You really have I to cook tri tip, right? Yeah, you, you got to be on the ball with that. Otherwise, yeah. it's ass. Tri tip kind of makes like it makes better for like Arab a sandwich. Guy's sandal. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've had some fucking not very good tri tip where you just gotta like, oh, it's like a, it's like you're just it's like you're trying to Hello, pull right. apart beef jerky or something. Like it's really tough. I like some yeah. beef jerky now. <laughs> but then I've also had some tri tip that literally fucking melts when you eat it. You know, you just have to cook it. we have it's like we have elk. Like what's, forever. what's your favorite? Cut of steak, McNasty. I feel like me and Super on ribeye gang, and do is chicken breast gang. You um, <laughs> probably ribeye. Yeah. Yeah. It depends right. though. It's like, good. it's good that you're right. You're I've had some. I've had some line. super. <laughs> I've had some super thick cuts of ribeye, and I I wasn't a huge fan of it because I don't know, I like my ribeye to be a little bit more thin. Because then I feel like the ratio of like. Well, what do you mean by thin? The, like, like thin how I would say probably ribeyes? like. Maybe like an inch thick or something. Okay, yeah, an inch is... But yeah, I've had yeah. like two inch thick ones and it's like you... Oh, yeah, like, isn't that Florence style or something? I don't know, it's... it's Sometimes the Florence thin ones like that thin go hard, though. You need to eat like two of them, though, to, to have any uh, yeah. satisfaction. Because one of them will not, yeah. not cut it. That is one thing. No. You asked me what I've been doing. I've, I've done uh, meat only. I've been trying to do a carnivore diet. Oh, really? How's that? Interesting. I've enjoyed it so far, honestly. What's the sounds, why why pick that out of curiosity? Um, I don't know. I just read about <laughs> different things, and I honestly because I love meat, like I always fair enough. Whenever yeah. I'm having dinner, yeah, I'm like valid. all I want is a big ass steak or something, you know. So <laughs> me too. I got a bunch yeah. of elk or just like some fucking that. burger patties with bacon on well, it. Well, I got like elk, bison. Oh. Uh, I got you know Damn. steak. I got pork chops and all kind. I've been eating eggs oh, too. Pork but, chops, pork chops go crazy. Yeah. Highly underrated food. Everyone like pork shoulder. I feel like everyone's. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. God damn. Uh, I feel like everyone's parents ruin pork chops yeah, for them because a lot of people man. don't know how don't know how to cook pork yeah. chops. So they just make this like super tough, flavorless piece of fucking. Yeah, well, I've been that baking like mine. I've been teriyaki but, baking mine yeah. in the oven. It's actually been pretty good. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Mm. I'm not like a, a super. Really I'm not super big into like bloody steak and like you know i i get my burgers well done but i will say the, the yeah. best pork yeah, chop i ever had was uh i think it was like medium a medium pork chop and i was kind of like uh, i don't i don't know how i feel about that but 
I, I ate it and I was like, holy fuck, it changed my life. I mean, yeah, it's because our brains have been hardwired to eat a fucking over, way over cooked pork yeah, chop from our childhood. Up. Yeah, I was at a, I yeah, was at a pretty nice, salt and pepper. I was at a pretty nice restaurant and they said that and I was like, I guess just do whatever the chef says because I mean he knows more than I do, so. Yeah. yeah. And it was. I'm sure I they would serve you something that's gonna kill you and give right, you fucking. Right. <laughs> I think a long ass. time ago you like wasn't it like kind of semi recent where you were like they changed it to where you were allowed to eat. Like medium, po- like undercooked pork, or not fully cooked through. I mean, oh, I don't know. Like, is, don't wasn't know. there wasn't there some kind of like bacteria that existed in the swine community? I guess, and then it like went away or something. Like it just died like the off. The swine community. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to put that, but <laughs> they were all tweeting about it. Yeah, well, I just I, I feel like not that long ago it was like, like the Food and Drug Administration told you to cook to make sure there was no blood mm. in your yeah. Or no hemoglobin or whatever in your. I was gonna say it's hemoglobin. Blood is all gone. I yeah. love that word. Hemoglobin. 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 <laughs> it's like when you said that fucking oh. Swedish accent all the time. I just I, I'm hemoglobin. I'm off put about ground beef being uh you know like medium or ground beef 100 oh, yeah, percent no, needs that, to be cooked ground, all the way through. Ground beef is yeah. actually something that can be dangerous. Well, yeah. people, yeah. like people, salmonella. People eat that shit raw, yeah. and I remember as a kid Hell. that you guys are. I know I've talked about this, but that show. Uh, it was called like the doctors or something like that reality. It's kind of like a, a talk yeah, yeah. show or whatever. I, Dr. I, yeah. Phil's son's show. Dr. Or Oz? Some shit. No, it's like, it's yeah, called, I think it's called Oz. doctors and, or something or the shit. doctors. And yeah, like it is four, doctors. Like I, three I know it's one of them or whatever. Yeah. And they, yeah. I watched, it was just on TV at like my grandmother's house or something. I had nothing else to watch. You could say you liked it. It's <laughs> That's okay. the only place in the world you ever watch. It. I, it honestly, yeah, honestly, <laughs> like I, and I, the shows only exist in that area. I was like, this is so stupid. I hate that I have to watch this. And then I was like actually interested and they, th- it was something like the FDA tested 100 samples of ground beef, like uncooked, like just raw ground beef, and every one of them came back with uh, fecal matter. And uh, oh like yeah, absolutely, fecal yeah. matter. So well, like the thing about a steak being <laughs> a steak being rare, the outside of the steak is is the only thing that could touch like. Yeah. You know, anything bacteria that's, can't that's travel bad. through muscle. Yeah, it's not gonna go through the muscle. Uh, so like, as long as you even cook it a little bit, it's like safe. Whereas like, yeah, that's why you can beef, eat it fucking been blue anything. Like blue, yeah, uh, Pittsburgh yeah. style or whatever. The cold, cold yeah, middle. Uh, I can't. Or Chicago I can't style, do similar to I can't that. Do that. Chicago's charred to hell on the outside, and then I think like close to raw on the inside. Oh, disgusting. Oof, that's rough. I've been even like cutting yeah. mine up before I even cook it too, because I eat it. I eat, eat meat every day, so I'm like. I needed a different way today. I like cube it up yeah. sometimes before I cook it. Try it out. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did the meat only thing for a couple of weeks, and uh, it's I not did, bad. Uh, did ever, uh, I did two and a half weeks before we went to Texas, and then I cheated there, and then <laughs> I <laughs> cheating is a vegetable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I had like beans at, <laughs> at, at had a carb. Beer, damn it! At the barbecue place, I had like beans and like. Uh, I don't know, just shit that wasn't meat. Oh, yeah. It's, like some yeah, type of corn. Are you allowed to eat vegetables on the carnivore diet? No, it's literally meat and eggs. Really? Yeah. I How mean, there's different, it's there's different versions. Like, you can, some people say you can, like, every few days. So, basically, you're on, like, essentially keto. It literally is pretty like, much the same thing. Yeah. Except if I don't. If your body's not body adjusting any carbs, you will go into ketosis. I don't, yeah. yeah, you go, yeah. But say. I don't have, like, keto snacks oh. or anything. I just, like, eat yeah. eggs and bacon in the morning, and then I eat, like. Do you take, like, a fiber fiber supplement or something? No. Oh. This dude just never shitting again. No, honestly. Back back for day, hey, your shit must just be like, shit. dude, I'm not even like lying. Cube. <laughs> just, that has even improved. That and my sleep are the only two things. I've lost some weight, too, but, like, that and my sleep yeah. Oh, yeah. have improved a lot, to be honest. It's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But it That's works different for everybody. Diet I mean, like that is that you're <laughs> always full because all you eat is protein. So yeah, that protein. That's definitely well, the bonus of that. Yeah, you eat less. Like, I don't yeah. really eat until afternoon, and then I try to not eat, like, <laughs> Usually, like after nine or ten, so yeah, it works. You just gotta out. watch your cholesterol on something like that long term. That's why you yeah, do. That's the why. That's why fasting. I was suggesting a fiber supplement. Yeah, because fiber is how you're able to like counteract the. They say if you fast, if you don't like eat three meals a day meat, you shouldn't have a cholesterol problem. But I don't know. I mean, I'm also not gonna do it forever. I I kind of I travel so much. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably just, like do it at home, diet. you know, and then like when I go somewhere, eat whatever. So yeah, that's fair. That's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I brought a bunch of cooked meat here. Yeah, <laughs> I brought like five pounds. He, of meat. he showed up with a cooler full of cooked meats and some elk steaks. A, 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 
a truck a bed full of dead I'm animals. Like, I was like, I was Ethan, like bro. Ethan, come over, bro. I'm like, bro, you're not going to summer camp. I'm going to feed you while you're here. Like, you know, like. <laughs> 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 shit. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's fellas. wrap this shit yeah. up. Yep. Wrap it before you tap right, it. Don't be a dummy. Up. Come on or tummy. All right. All right, soup. Yes, Run please. the outro, buddy. Thanks for watching and or listening. Go to Spotify and please download. Help us out. Use code goons and buy some G-Sups, baby. Can you drink G-Sups, Ethan, on your meat-only diet? Is that th something you can do? Uh, I'm willing to cheat. There is meat. There is dog. Yeah. There is dog uh, That's what I thought they said. They put dog, like, uh, they kill dogs. They spear the dogs to death. And, well, then 100% uh, of them. They blend so. them up and put it in G-Subs. That's what it's all dog. That's what I heard, at least. You know, that's what they tell us in the... Did uh, they shit on the dog in first? The, in the contract that G-Subs gave us, they were like, we have to kill seven dogs and send them to their headquarters so they can blend them up and put Please them in. Please mention the dead dogs. I think G-Subs has a ribeye flavor you could drink. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> that is putrid. <laughs> all right. Wagyu G-Subs. <laughs> just grind up some meat and mix it. on earth. I'll just blend meat here with my G-Subs. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks right. for listening. Download on Spotify, please. Yes. Use code Goon. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Do it. Goodbye. Uh -huh.